Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Well, 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 before we start with our Bitcoin TA and what are the next targets since we now confirmed that 11,600 is the new support after breaking out yesterday. Before we start with that, I want to shout out to a specific user in our community, especially in the Discord trading chat. I think it's very worth that I mention him because he's doing a lot for the community and also he came out some weeks ago with a very nice advice through all the community. And I know that many of you in our great Discord community and of course also here on YouTube did very nice gains thanks to his advice. So shout out to you, Kadirski. Thank you very much for your advice and for everything you're doing for the community. He came up with some very nice advices some week ago, especially with Bancor and Band two of the top performer in the DeFi space and especially Band yesterday had a nice big leg up here within one hour so we can make a measurement here just only with this one hour candle we pumped over 40 percent to the upside and at the moment we are also consolidating here so this was not a blow off top but here we are looking forward for continuation so thanks to Kadirski in our community we made very nice gains even myself thanks to these two altcoins which he recommended way before we started here to pump so I thought it is very worth to mention him he deserves our respect and thanks to him we had a lot of gains recently so thank you again very much Kadirski and uh, if you also want to be part of our community subscribe here to the channel on YouTube and also please feel very welcome to join our free discord trading chat we have a great community over there and also the twitch channel if you have twitch all right guys and with that said we can start with our daily ta on bitcoin because currently we are forming here this consolidation before the next leg up which the target is currently 14,000 in my opinion we had yesterday this breakout through 11,600 dollar and currently we are facing here this huge resistance at 11,800 dollar so this is the last step before we're gonna push through fourteen thousand dollar and also test the previous high that we had at fourteen thousand and since we are in such a parabolic phase and also the sentiment everything is so bullish i think the next potential target before we will see any kind of bigger correction will be most likely 16,000. It is possible that we're even going up to test 18 or 20,000, but 16,000 is a target which I think is very realistic. And we're gonna have a look in the bigger time frames why exactly 16,000. But now let's start first here in the lower time frames because you definitely don't want to miss out this trade here or this buy opportunity down here, especially if you're trading with the leverage on the buy bit for example then you are looking right now for entering a nice long position towards the support here where also the 20 moving average is lining up so if you're seeing that we're gonna retest here this eleven thousand six hundred dollar even if we wick below towards eleven thousand five hundred dollar which is also very possible to happen and then recover immediately straight back up this would be the perfect long opportunity for the next move even now here below 11,800 is a good entry but if you're not sure then maybe wait here for a bigger correction towards 11,500 to 11,600 or otherwise just trade the breakout as soon as we're gonna take out this high here at 11,820 we have currently the RSI bouncing from the 50 level in the one hour stochastic oversold and now shifted to the upside so here we're definitely moving into the next big move and if we also have a look in the Bollinger Band you can see that we're squeezing in this tiny channel and currently also we are testing here the top area of 11,770 so very soon we're gonna most likely we're shooting it to the upside here also if we have a look at the MACD which had before a bearish cross that's why also yesterday I opened a small short position that I immediately closed when we had here this little correction down here 
but right now I'm looking again for a long entry and as soon as here we're gonna have a bullish cross in the MACD I think we will start here the push towards 11,800 and also higher so you're not too late in case that you want to open up a long position and ride it up because so far everything is pointing out that we're gonna see here very very soon 14 and maybe also 16 thousand dollar not only on bitcoin we are bullish but of course also in ethereum litecoin and xrp all of these three top coiners are currently waiting for bitcoin to make the next step also i'm gonna keep an eye on these three as soon as one is breaking out from this bullish pattern that we are in currently we're gonna see most likely also on bitcoin a follow through so if you see one of these coins breaking out then trade it and if you're too late then look at the coins that are lagging behind so maybe there you can open up a trade so you're still on time and don't forget my friends even with small amounts you can do a lot of gains using leverage so if you need an exchange like Bybit, Femex or BTR, these are the three exchanges that I recommend you, then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description. So you will get also registering with my links, some sign up bonus, and of course you're also supporting the channel. So make sure to use my invitation links that you find down below here, especially this one for Bybit and Femex, because these two you can trade with your Bitcoins up to 100X and also some other altcoins on Femex you can even trade gold if you want and BTR is the exchange that I recommend you if you're using Tether so if you take out profits and the price is continually to go higher even with these profits that you took in Tether you can go long or short on, on cryptos here with dollar and then also you can multiply your dollar so you will not miss the boat even if you took out profits with Tether so also the sign up link you find down below here for BTR and here you can get up to $258 in a welcome bonus so if you're trading here with the time you will get more and more bonus so definitely go and check this exchange as well and now let's go back to the bitstamp chart and open up also the four hour time frame because also here you can see that currently we're trading above all the moving averages we have also the rsi coming up here after testing the 50 level also here we have a lot of room left to the upside even though it looks like that we could enter here in overbought condition so in case that we have a pullback here towards the 20 moving average at eleven thousand five hundred dollar then take it as an advantage and opportunity to go along here or buy some cheaper in so that you can ride it up here to the upside as soon as we're gonna have here the breakout because also here you can see that the previous resistance this yellow line is now acting as a support stochastic here is overbought so we could see a potential pullback in the next couple of hours but as I told you take it as an opportunity and we can also have a look in the Bollinger Band in the four hour because also here currently we had here this tiny channel which we broke out to the upside testing now again the top area here at eleven thousand eight hundred dollar macd is now shifted to the upside so also here it looks like that the momentum even here in the lower time frames is gearing up for the next move to the upside even though we are testing here the top of this channel i think here in the lower time frames we're most likely gonna overshoot it to the upside pretty soon and now let's go over to the daily time frame because here yesterday we had the confirmation that we were closing above eleven thousand six hundred dollars so today we came a bit down to retest it so far is holding we have the rsi still in overbought condition this is a bit concerning at the moment we also have the 20 daily down here at ten thousand eight hundred dollars so this is one thousand dollar less and we could go at any time down to test here the 20 daily moving average even down to the 50 level but the question is only are we gonna go now now to potentially test one of these moving averages down here these old supports or do we see this bigger correction after topping out most likely towards sixteen thousand dollar this is the big question and that's why you definitely don't want to miss out this next pushes to the upside towards sixteen thousand so you can trade based on this chance that we could go down to test one of these moving averages down here and also close the future gap that we have at nine thousand six hundred dollar but you also definitely don't want to miss out if we're not stopping out here and if we're moving towards 16k because this would be almost a 50% move to the upside. You see also that the stochastic currently is having a bullish cross so also here there is a very high chance that we're gearing up here to the next
next target which would be 14,000 and then also 16,000 and before I show you why 16,000 we go over to the Bollinger Band in the daily and have a look here because here also you can see that we're trading in the upper area which is a very bullish sign and the top currently is at 12,460 so I think it is very likely that we could go even today or at least before the weekend because tomorrow is Friday and we're gonna close also the CMEs tomorrow that we most likely gonna go towards 12k and start to build up a support above there this is very likely to happen within today or at least before the weekend so we can start into the weekend with a new level here above twelve thousand dollar we have the macd still shifted to the upside so also here everything is pointing out that we are not topping here and most likely we are coming into the next level pretty soon if not before the weekend then latest next week for sure and now i want to show you why i think that 16k is a very realistic target to be reached before we're gonna see a major correction down towards 10k to potentially also close the CME gap that we have at $9,600 and here you can see clearly that after this low that we had here at $3,500 we had this run up to $14,000 and since then even with the crash in March we had this higher low so when we have a bull trend we always are creating higher lows and higher highs so it makes perfectly sense if right now with this move we are creating a higher high than 14,000 so if we are creating a higher high than 14,000 so here at 16,000 we're also in the past we had some support and resistance here once we topped out at 20k I think it is very likely that with this move here we're gonna take out this high here at 14,000 create a new higher high in the macro picture and then potentially have a major correction down towards 10k test here the old resistance this red line confirm it as a support close the cme gap and at the same time we're gonna create a higher low so this is a scenario which i think will be most likely happen in the next couple of weeks and months so since right now we are taking out also this eleven thousand six hundred dollar and most likely we're going towards fourteen and sixteen thousand dollar this is the range where I may be gonna take a little bit of profits out just in case that we're gonna see this huge correction down to fill the CME gap, have the confirmation here, create a higher low and then gear up for the final move to break 16 and also 20K. So this doesn't mean that I'm gonna sell everything. I just gonna maybe sell a part of my trading portfolio. So not of my hodler portfolio. I have a little piece of my hodler portfolio that I'm using for trading. So only a little bit of that money. I may be gonna take out a bit of profits to then trying to rebuy some cheaper Bitcoin and altcoin. But in case that we're gonna break all the 16,000, I think it is very likely that we're not gonna stop also here at 20K, but most likely gonna reach here the most bullish targets for this move here of 30 thousand dollar but sixteen thousand dollar in my opinion is very realistic to be reached right now which is also coinciding here with uh, some resistance and support that we had here in the last parabolic phase also if you're reaching this area up here i think we will be very very overbought in several time frames so from this point on i think a little cool off here especially if it's going to be a fast move here to the upside is very likely to come but this is what we're going to have to see once we're going to break here this eleven thousand eight hundred dollar and move forward towards fourteen thousand if we have a correction right now down to 10k and also close the cme gap this would be perfectly then we can all buy cheaper in right now and then i think we will not top out at sixteen thousand. then i think most likely we will go straight up towards 30k and there maybe have a bigger correction before we're moving to the next new all-time highs all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up don't forget to sign up to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that we do weekly. The sign up link is popping up at the end of this video. You just have to comment that video and put your Bitcoin address down below. And also we are very close to the big world series of trading, this big competition on Bybit. If you want to join my team, you find the sign up link down below here so you can participate on the event. You can join my team. You just need 0.1 Bitcoin in your account. 
and the good thing about this competition is that it doesn't matter if you're a good or a bad trader at the end of the competition only the best trader in the team is relevant for the ranking so very important even if you go into negative only the best performing trader is relevant for the ranking on the competition so don't worry you're very welcome into the team and you can take advantage of this bonus that we will get and also the discounts on trading fees during the competition so make sure to sign up to Bybit and also to my team if you're interested so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye